Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your monthly reading for March. Generally my readings turn out to be love readings, but we will see what comes up for you. Um, have to warn you, if you're sensitive you might not want to watch this because I don't, I don't handle that very well. Um, so yeah, this is for the sign of Libra. You may be feeling angry and bitter at the beginning of this month or at any time during this month. That is the sign of Libra. Also Aquarius and Gemini, but it's telling me that somebody is probably pretty angry, upset, bitter, um, not mastering their emotions very well. Somebody is probably acting very uh, vindictively. Doesn't have to be you. It could be the other person. We do have the tower here. Whatever has happened is was a blessing in disguise. I feel like something has fallen apart. Has really there's been some kind of crash or crisis perhaps that has pushed you into a a point of healing your soul to a point where it needs to be. Many of you are, have come to a much better place. That's what I see. You've come to a much, much better place where you've persevered. You've gained a lot of strength. You've gained a lot of wisdom, you know. But there's still some sort of vindictive bitterness here, okay. There is, there is. Whether it's you or somebody else, there's this vindictive bitterness. But this right here tells me somebody who is, is doing quite well. So, you know, you can still do quite well, well, and hold in some bitterness. So I feel like there is somebody, maybe there's a rejecting of new opportunities because we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. You know, I feel like many of you are focused on yourselves. You're doing quite well, being grateful for who you are, what you are, what you've learned. There's been some kind of lesson that has been learned the hard way, okay? And it has really taught you something quite big. And I feel like many of you are releasing something. You're letting go of something, but it's not easy. And that could be where the angry, the anger, the bitterness, the harshness, the vindict vindictiveness comes. Is that you have to let go of something that wasn't easy to let go of. And it could have been a partnership, okay? Because we have that lover's card, but next to whatever it is you're letting go of. So I feel like that many of you are, I mean, this is the single person, the widow, the widower, the divorcee, somebody who is living very well off on their own. And that doesn't mean that you're rich, but it means that you're doing quite well. So, but you know, there is some kind of crisis here with this tower card or some kind of breakdown that isn't giving you anything it's like you're you're I think it's you I think it's you not accepting any new offers because of a crisis that you've went through it's like you know what I'm still working on me I can't accept anything from anybody at this time because it's all about me right now and you know what it's sometimes you need to have it be all about you so I think you're making the right call by doing that I think that you guys are are really letting go of something but it's not easy to let go of and you've you're just gaining spiritual wisdom during this time i mean this is what's going on i see a lot of spiritual wisdom here that you guys are are gaining th after a period of hurt you know that probably caused some animosity okay i think there's been there is there's some animosity inside of you that has brought about a spiritual growth and now you have to make a decision you may be you may have an unexpected partner or unexpected love that enters your life and you may reject this offer from somebody because you haven't quite let go of the animosity in the past that's what it looks like it looks like you've been hurt it does it looks like you've been hurt by somebody and now your guard is up you're like you know I don't right now I'm still not over this I'm still working on me and I think you're doing very very well working on yourselves I think there's so many of you are are healing in a, at a very very high speed and I think that you are trying to avoid any future new beginning with anybody at this time because you're just not there yet. 
So, but I think there could be an offer coming in. You may receive an, an unexpected offer from somebody that isn't your usual type, but you you might. I it appears to me like you're going to reject it because you just don't. You're not ready. You're not ready. That's what you guys are uh, evolving spiritually very quickly. That's what's happening here. It's about me, and and at this time, I think it's a good thing. I think that you guys are working on healing, and it looks very, very good. It looks like you're healing, you're healing, and you're moving along your spiritual journey at a high speed. I mean, that's what's going on here. This is a spiritual journey, and this one is too. I feel like there was some kind of uh, split or breakup or or something that. Uh, catapulted you or something like that into this new awakening which has allowed your soul to heal and you're still healing I don't think you're done healing I think you're unable to join in a partnership with anybody else at this time because you're still working on yourself that's what I see it's like you know what I need to work on me right now and that's what I am doing and <laughs> that's what it looks like but I'm going to zoom this in and we're going to keep going I feel like you guys are standing up for yourselves. You're doing what's right for you at this time. And I think that it looks really, really, really good. It's like you're relighting the passion within you based on your past experience. Uh, I think there was some kind of crisis that has brought you a blessing within your soul. And you're not ready to move forward. You're working on your spiritual journey right now. You're not ready to move forward with this new person that may be interested in you. I feel like there's a new love interest that may be pursuing you. Okay? But you have a, you're still not completely healed, although you've done a lot of work. A lot of work. But you're not looking for anything new right now. I just, I'm not there right now. I'm working on my spiritual journey. I'm working on my... My inner knowing. I'm working on my inner self. I'm working on me. I, I mean, that's what I see here. Yeah, this new person could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Look at Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio twice. But I think there's a detachment here. Um, but we also have air, uh, the air signs as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with another one of those. Um, I feel as though... Whoever you're dealing with has the best of intentions, but I feel like you are detached. You're detached. You're, you're still feeling like you're not ready. Like you may feel like you're still a victim from the past circumstances, and you're not ready. You're not ready for this new path. You're not ready to receive anything from this person at this point. Even though they have good intentions, you're just not there. You're just... I think there's uh, somebody that is watching this that has not mastered their emotions yet because this is lack of mastering their emotions. So I think somebody is feeling very emotional and maybe they feel like they have been cheated. And maybe you don't want to accept anything from anybody else because you were cheated in the past and you're afraid. You're really afraid to tie to to offer any bond with anybody else at this time for fear of being cheated again. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I feel it feels as though you've been lied to and now you're you're still working on releasing those those lies, you know, those um the deceit. Somebody has betrayed you and you're you're even though you're so close and you've done a lot of work on yourself, it's still in there. It hasn't been released yet. I feel like there's still a bond with you and this person that hurt you. And it isn't quite severed yet. Damn it. Yeah, there was probably a third party situation. Two threes. Interesting. There probably was a third party situation that you haven't healed from yet. And or it could and this doesn't have to be lovers. This could be two against one, two other people that have betrayed you. Uh, either way, there is, it, for many of you, there was a situation that you haven't been able to heal from, but you are so close. And right now, you're doing the right thing for you. That's what I see. It's like, you know what? I, I am going to be patient while I work through this crisis that I have been through. Okay? I'm loving myself unconditionally at this time. You may need to get out with your friends and have some fun. Maybe you need to look to your friends for help. It feels as though right now you are really working on you, celebrating yourself, and you're probably being called to get out there and lighten up and bring some playfulness back to your life. 
um, and relight the fire within. I feel like many of you are working on raising your vibration and it's working. You're, you are vibrating on a much higher level since this tower moment. You did have a tower moment. There was a tower moment that uh, brought out, you know, that uh, showed you some sort of betrayal okay there was a tower moment and now you have accepted it it looks like you have accepted it and now you're working um on relighting your passion you're working on raising your vibration and creating the best you that you can be i mean it looks really good i feel like this is a month of you guys really glowing i mean that's what i see it's, it's just like you guys are going to be vibrating on a very very high level very attractive very attractive this month as well because of your vibration your raised vibration it's like there's a new beginning yes there is you're not going to be in denial anymore many of you are, are have accepted this truth and that's what it is i feel like many of you are no longer going to push down the truth I feel as though you guys are releasing as much as it hurts. You're releasing and you're going through a transformation. Congratulations. And during this transformation, there's no new beginning with anybody else because the beginning is within yourself and you already know that. You have this inner knowing this month that is highly intuitive, highly psychic. I mean, I feel like you guys are totally blossoming this month and it's shown i mean you're you're vibrating very very highly very 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 highly um but the, like i said there's no new beginning there's no new manifest new manifestation in love okay there's not all right there's not because these are both ones there's not in this one all three of these ones are reversed the ace of pentacles the ace of swords and the ace of wands one 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 i knew there was another ace i was looking for it <coughs> so these ones are all reversed it tells me there's no new manifestation because you're working on you in love okay there's no new beginning in love because right now you have to love yourself first. I feel like this is self-love. I feel like this is working on me. And I think that you're doing the right thing. I really, really do. I feel like you're not looking for any new sexual partner. You're not looking for a new partnership right now. You're looking to do what's right for you. And what's right for you is raising your vibration. It's, it's working on yourself. It's becoming comfortable. It's working on the healing that you've been doing. Many of you are headed in the right direction and you're moving very, very quickly. And because you're vibrating so highly, people are highly attracted to you. So I believe that you will have an offer from somebody that comes out of the blue. Okay, this person sees your attractiveness and they are probably going to make some sort of offer or say something very flirtatious or invite you out or something like that. And, but I think that you will, you might be flattered by it, but I don't think that you'll accept it because you're still working on yourselves. That's what I see. High vibrations, very high vibrations, highly attractive this month. Ooh. Trust. Oh, this is perfect. Trust your decisions. March to the beat of your own heart. And this is exactly what you're doing. You know what is best for you. And I feel as though because you know this inner knowing is so strong within you. That, you, that your confidence is being shown, your confidence, your light, your fire, your, your vibration is, is like <laughs> magnetic, okay, put it that way. I feel as though as you trust yourself, as you trust your inner knowing, your confidence level just raises so high that people are like, whew, attracted to you. That's what high vibrations does. So, I feel like this is a beautiful month for you, that you are vibrating very highly, you're highly intuitive, pay attention to your thoughts, 
pay attention to your dreams. There, somebody that is watching this has a very high psychic ability and you are being called to just do what is right for you and I think that is exactly what you're doing. I think that you will probably turn down an offer because you're not quite where you want to be. But I see a lot of flattery here. <laughs> so I feel as though, you know, you will probably getting, be getting a lot of looks from people. You know, and they're, you're definitely very, very attractive, Libra. I feel as though um, this is a beautiful month where your self-work shows 